Hey, I'm Dan. And I'm Swampy. We're the co-creators of Phineas and Ferb. A show that you're probably watching right now. Hopefully. We get letters from kids all over the world asking us questions about the show well, that we... That's not actually true. We don't get a lot of actual physical written on paper letters. What we get no, is a lot no, of emails, digital, true. electronic... Yeah, the, actually all of the emails we've ever received fit on this flash drive right here, but that's not as impressive as... Now, this stack of, of letters here is much more impressive. This is a prop, though, made mostly of uh, foam, fiberglass, that kind of thing. Yeah. So not to say that we don't actually get letters from people, physical letters, it, like uh, this one's for, for instance from, from Becky. This is a question we get all the time. Are we ever going to see Perry the platypus get a girlfriend? No, no, no not gonna happen. No. Here's another one. This one is from uh, Donnie. It says, are we ever going to see Phineas and Ferb as teenagers? Yes, yes we are. In fact, we're going to see it right now. This episode is set 10 years in the future, so don't let it confuse you. Actually, to, to avoid confusion, let's, uh, let's just synchronize our calendars right now. Ugh, I'm running out of time, Ferb. I gotta choose a school. Do I stay local or go abroad? Trade school? Art school? Come on, Ferb, help me make a decision. Get in the booth. Oh, cool, all my college acceptance letters. I guess we're gonna let fate decide this one. Okay. Cubestad Academy. Uh, which one was that again? Uh, great physics department. Norway. Hmm. Don't oh, feel I'm ready for those cold winters. Okay. Comedy traffic school. Well, if it's fate... Yeah. Didn't seem a lot easier when we were young and just waiting for our voices to drop. Hey, guys. <coughs> <coughs> Something was caught in my throat. So, still trying to figure out where to go to school? Working on it. I was just giving Buford some pointers on collegiate life. Since I've already graduated and been accepted as a professor, I could pull some strings and get him into my school. Just think, Buford, you could be my student. I would be the boss of you. Don't get too excited. I'm going to film school. I'm concentrating on tragedies. The story of a struggling orphan's transcendental search for meaning in a post-apocalyptic society. It sounds pretentious. Thank you. So, Ferb, you're off to school in England? Yeah, he's going to Camford on Oxbury. <laughs> Camford on Oxbury. It sounds like a wizard school. It's not a wizard school. Well, there is some wizarding. Phineas, why don't you just go there? Or why not go where Candace goes to school? Law school? I don't know. And that concludes my dissertation on modern investigative techniques for establishing proof of guilt with or without physical evidence. Spectacular! I've never had a student convince me of something so completely baseless before. Now I feel like busting someone. Yeah, I don't know if Candace's school is the place for me. Forget the booth. I'm gonna go with my gut. It's between these two. Danville U and Tri-State State. Both really good schools. Looks like I have some thinking to do. Hey, the epic struggle of a triangle-headed boy to choose between two schools. Pretentious alert. And again, thank you. Sir, it's the old evil scientist alert system. It's showing innator activity on a Dr. Duford. Doofenshmirtz? Great googly moogly. I thought he'd given up his evil ways when we placed him as a high school science teacher. Well, it's too bad Monogram isn't around to see this. Well, sir, he's gone to a better place. Yeah. Oh, what the heck, I'm gonna call him. Monogram. How have you been, sir? Carl, I'm great. Bora Bora really is a better place. How have you been, man? I've been well. Guess who's just set off the innator alert? Doofenshmirtz? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like old times.